sorry, last week uh, I was traveling and I, yeah, thank you. Um, I just came back today. I went to Rwanda for conference, um, Africa Artificial Intelligence Conference. So I just come back today, 10 a.m. So <laughs> that's the last week I missed it. So um, today is we are discussing the chapter database, um, which is chapter 22. Um, it turns out that um, um, I try to run this stuff. Um, maybe there is some issue concerning my this stuff, the installation, but I'm still getting an error. I did um, reinstallation. I installed them. I installed, but it's still getting error. But before I, because I update the packages, but before I update the packages, everything works. And now when I update my packages, all the packages, then something was happening. It's not so. Um, I was not able to uh, go through, but fortunately we have this uh, uh, the not. So let's get going. So we have, um, you know, the package called DBI, um, which can be used to serve an interface to databases and the deployer, DB player, which is uh, actually the uh, back end uh, similar to the uh, player package. Um, so player, which is deployer, we know, but this is deployer, which is used for the database. So these are some of the packages that I use in this chapter. Um, so we all know database, that's what we have been assessing information from. So um, it's uh, uh, stored in Dix, an arbitrary large, you know, uh, chunk of information. Uh, the difference between these, you know, database and data frames is um, data frame are stored in memory while these are, you know, are stored in database are stored in storage, something like that. And uh, Similar to what we did, we, we do with uh, data frames where we basically, you know, analyze, assess the data. So in also database, we try to assess, you know, the database and so that to do much like what we do with um, deploy, um, data frame. So how can we access the database so that we can be able to get the data? So they said to connect the database from our ULIS to PR packages. So these are the packages we made mention. The first one is DBI and a particular package for the database uh, RDBM relational database package you are working on. So the first one DBI, um, it provide interface, generic interface function that connect to the database. So a material of which, you know, um, database package in area using uh, the DBI package, it serves as interface to connect this database that is from the low level and your package that you are using will serve as a higher level to uh, communicate with the DBI. So for example, we can use many R MariaDB for my SQL and uh, R PostgreSQL for PostgreSQL. So you can see there are many packages for different databases. So for us to connect with the database, um, so I think uh, here they did not did mention we have different kind of databases. Uh, I said, I think uh, I started this in my note here. Um, we have three bases, um, you know, uh, basic form of database. We have um, client. Um, uh, can you see my R studio? Uh, yeah. I, we have client server, we have cloud, we have in process. So as we know, client server, these are databases that install in your server and you can access them from some anywhere and cloud, which are, you know, uh, cloud database such as this will be query and in process. So these are in process. Um, what it means, uh, for example, you don't, you wanna have database on your computer, not on remote server, not on cloud, something that it relies on tele on your computer and you want to, you know, access the data and access it similar to database. So we have in process database. Um, so this chapter is trying to work on this in process database because um, it makes easier to make, um, you know, uh, uh, to make the teaching more easier uh, by assessing the index. So this is why we're going to use this uh, called DuckDB, uh, which is the in, um, you know, uh, database. So this is how you connect DBI, DB connect, then you specify this. This is the word we can. And we're using the TV in project. So if you are using a project or somewhere else where you want to basically store the projects, um, some data, and uh, you need to provide uh, the where you want to store. So there is problem here. 
that they say um, the dot DB is high performance data that is done very much for need for data scientists. We use it here because it's very easy to get started. So these are the reason uh, why um, you know we want to use it. Um, so yeah, and if you want to use DocDB for real data analysis, you need to supply the DB directory argument to make persistent database and tell the directory where to save it. So yeah, so if you want to use this because it is in you know in uh, what we call it in your computer, uh, you are not sending the data remotely. You may not necessarily need to save the data, but you just want to maybe test something. So that is why you may not at some point store the database, but if you wanna store it in your computer as well, you can provide this. So this is um, how you can connect the database, but it dif can differ from different um, uh, database. All right, so anyone want to add something? Yeah, I, I no? think it's clear up to now. All right, so um, loading some data. Um, so. Now we see, for example, now here we connect the database. So we have connection here, something like that. So um, now the thing is to load the data, right? So for us to load the data, we can use this function and provide the, you know, the, uh, what we, you know, previously, you know, uh, connect the database in and we provide the, you know, the name of the database and what data we use from this ggplot2. So this is how we can connect this. And also here we have, um, we are connecting um, MPG here. We are collecting the database, you know, diamond here. So this is how we can connect the database. Um, yeah, I, you, you can see it here. So we use this one and the simpler way we need three arguments. So we need to provide the argument, a database connection. So this is the database connection and the name of the table to create in the database. So because in a database, because we said is a collection of tables, right? Um, if you don't forget database, um, you can see database, uh, database table as soon as something like that, uh, almost like uh, uh, always. Okay, anyway, I wanna say that they are tables. So when we read it, we need to specify, you know, the kind of the table we wanna and um, the data frame of the data. So this is it. So you can see the database connection. This is this one the name of the table to create in the data bell, which is this, and a data frame of the data. So the data frame you wanna change to data. But you can also say that um, there are some other alternative to read the database, such as RO and using these functions, which they have not explained in the um, in the uh, book. Yeah, right. so, yeah, yeah. It, it, I think it's also saying in the book that if we um, are working on like real projects, we will want this alternative uh, mm -hmm. function you will want to learn more about them yeah so yeah, yeah um, i think it can help if you are working with uh, like a uh, uh, real projects like yeah. on projects then you will need uh, to use this function something like yeah. that so here we can see um it's just you know we are connecting maybe to data from package from ggplot right from data from this but if you are if you are working because it's easier for them here to just demonstrate but if we are working with our own data so you can see, for example, if it is CSV, we can read it through CSV. But if it is also in RO format, we can read it through RO. Yeah. So if it is in our real folder, we can use. I tried to also uh, give an example with this one, but um, because uh, my computer was not able to run this chapter, so I couldn't give it. All right. So now we have seen two things. Um, we have seen how we can, you know, uh, connect to the database, and we have seen how we can load the data from the database, right? Now, um, here we're gonna discuss some basics of uh, DBI. Um, so here we have a function called DBI list connection. So it will, you know, list some of the tables you have in the connection you created. So because we have already created, um, you know, connection, we have, you know, MPG and diamond. So this guy, DBI list table, it will list the table you have available table, right? And now here we can use this um, DBI read table um and as table so this you can see db list table db read table um is a function that allow you to just read the table and we can convert uh, from the table from the uh connection we can read the table and now we can call um a table which is uh, our deploy function so it will just behave as here we have you know table so now here you can see we have table um yeah so it looks similar to table i think um there is no different from table any difference from table yeah no i think it's similar to table. 
yeah it's similar it's almost the same yeah and the see sql syntax here this guy um we can see uh it changes here so here we have the connection um then db we read and we change it to table um uh, yeah so, like it's it, uh, it's just telling us how to do the same thing in sql especially yeah. if you have yeah. SQL, you could just use the function db get query yeah but I think here they have not uh, have the it complete because I can see where price is greater than one fifteen hundred. So here I may, they may have not put it that one right uh, because here we don't have this. So here it just you know from diamond from diamond yeah, select yeah. these guys so we can see that. Yeah, but, okay. but 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 if you observe the 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 head, it gives us all the prices here are greater around three something. Yeah, I, I know. But what I'm saying is uh, maybe from the I check. I think I checked maybe from the original code here um mm -hmm. you know the it, the um sub you know filter from because this where it means uh filter in this connection um you know yeah. what i mean yeah. the where yeah. this mm -hmm. where has mm -hmm. equivalent of um tidy equivalent i think which is filter so if you check yeah. out the original book they have that thing i think mm -hmm. so yeah so but also you can basically get you know if you have uh for example now oh okay okay here they construct um uh uh an sql and now if you have on already, already an existing sql um you know um uh syntax you can basically use the same using db get carry and put the connection and the sql so it gives you uh something like this so i think is this the same as this one because here it just got a carrot, cut, clarity, color, price, right? Um, you can see. So this one and this are two different things. They are not the same. So yeah, so here they are doing the if you have you have SQL syntax, you can just provide it. So here is what they mean here. Okay, so um this is um what is showing to us that um uh you can use the uh deployer syntax here. And you can use basically SQL syntax, but you're gonna use this DB get carry so that you can filter or do any stuff you would like. Okay. And deploy basics. So still we are on deploy basic. Um we have now seen how we can basically, you know, um uh, list some of the tables we have. And now we have seen how we can, you know, use this function db read table to basically return turn in the our table, uh, read our table, and now change it to this. So now the next thing here is um, we can use this TBL um, directly. So um, I'm not sure. So this one is it the same as uh, using uh, db read table? So I think it's arguing that before we could use the uh, uh, before you could use the, the 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 DB flyer, we have to first uh, use the TB the TBL function to create uh, an object. Yes, that's that's why it is using that to create so ah, okay. to okay. create an object. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So here we use um um okay okay I see yeah all right so here we use the TV, uh, uh this function um given the connection and also the table to just create the object right so here we have this one so here we can see it's an object uh database duck db um it just tell us this is an object of database so here i think we don't have that we can see after we read the table we just turn it. okay anyway we we return it into table um so maybe we may not see that i'm not sure like if we have this connection and db read table only this stuff whether it will show us this similar to this an object something like that i don't know um it will be that. so here we create an object uh, of type of the diamond table and now here we can do whatever we with our data set right with that so um this guy tbl um it means it create um uh table it create a table right in that sense yeah yeah sort of a table yeah yeah so it automatically is so this one automatic all this one um is the same as this one right is that correct yeah yeah basically it's a 
I think it's okay. so hard to do that in SQL or something like that. Okay. All right. Okay. So here we can see we have, you know, um, these filter this and select this. So yeah, so this is the so you can see this one. This is what I was saying previously in here. Okay. Here where okay, this one where this the do the where price. So this is the same as that. Um yeah. So this is something we have seen previously. And given an object of uh, uh, DB, uh, DBI, you can use this show query uh, function to show you uh, the um, SQL, uh, you know, query. So here we can see. So you do SQL code sort of, yeah. Yeah. So here you we use can the same, the same thing sort of. Mm -hmm. I think now it's trying to teach us how to do this stuff uh, in SQL for like a, for a for a beginner who has no experience in SQL or something like this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. But um, uh, Ahmad, you 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 already had experience with SQL, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So I, uh, it tries here to say that um, okay, I use this query uh to. You get some kind of table from the databases. That yeah. I have. Now I can't see the query. I can see. I can also uh, only see the result. How I can see the query itself, the query that I already wrote to get this data, by using this uh, show query uh, function. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so here we can see we have this. We have filter and we have select, right? So here we have this filter select. So this is the query. So we can see here from diamond. So all these stuff select from where, uh, I think they would discard them when they come to SQL basic. But what is happening here is say, let's say um, we from diamond DB. So we can see here because there is structure how they follow from this one to this one, but it all started from, uh, um, from the diamond, which is the data set select uh, i think from uh, from is having one then select these guys where price is greater than this so this is what is you can see it's supposed to have you know from diamond at the first then select and this is but this is not how um sql is structured um, is that correct Ahmad? yeah 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 it's correct yeah you're just selecting columns uh from a table with uh with a where clause to uh to filter so yeah i think just uh, they are the same as uh, before, like go up, go up in, uh, yeah, it's the same as this one, but this using R instead of SQL. Here it's, it's he, did, he does the same. So yeah. if you select from the column which carrot to the column clarity plus price. Yeah, so but, but in Diplier, um, the arrangement in Diplier is different. For example, in Diplier, we provide the data database over server, then we filter, then we select. So um, here, as we see here, but what I'm saying is it doesn't reflect the sequence we have here in Diplier. In the yeah, Diplier. Just, he just said here that uh, this is the two different things. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, to get all the data back into R, um, so we can use this function called collect um, to get all. So because here we have big diamond DB, uh, you can see uh, here, uh, big diamond DB, uh, that's what generated this in big uh, DB. So you can use collect to bring them back into R, into normal table. So you can see here now it is in table. Uh, before here is not a table, but so SQL, right? It's because um, the, everything now is uh, from the object because we have one object diamond DB um, here that we create the object diamond. So everything that results from the object diamond BB will also be an object of that. So it's not um, a table, but we can use this collect to do that. So um, so I think that's um, what they showed about you know using DB plier. So in a nutshell, we can use DB plier to do all those um, noises we have in SQL, but DB plier actually serve as kind of, um, you know, a higher level layer that encapsulate all everything uh, needed from SQL.
uh, that you can do with it, um, which is a big win, I think, for people getting started in R. So yeah. Oh, and... So sorry, the 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 the, the, the so, so query function is a uh, it's like a function uh, in the developer package, right? Which one? The, the yeah, the show query we are using to show. No, no, um, yeah, yeah, it's in DB player. D yeah, it's the function in D, D uh, sort of DB uh, player, yes, exactly. But this is it function D player or uh, DB player? DB player, DB player. Okay. DB player. So it's different from the player. Oh, it's different from, um, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, what do we call it? Player, right? Player. Yeah. So, so it's different from player, yeah. Call it the player, but, but, uh, DB plier is different from the deep plier. The deep plier package is just in the, the one that in into um, uh, the tidyverse. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. the plier is, is different. It's just how custom has how they customize the plier to work with databases. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. Another layer. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so yeah, so um, uh, okay, so let's continue. So DB from D, you can see that from you know um, database. So dplyr is a ground that I'm providing. No, no, no. Oh, I'm saying dplyr. D -plyr. Yeah. I, I think there we should see the so query function, right? Then plyr. Then db. Then dt plyr. Yeah, this is it. Right? Is it dt plyr? No, I think it's DB with oh, oh this is another one. So this one DT player is you know um equivalent of player of data table. We know data yeah. data, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another structure other than um uh, yeah. the tight first way of doing yeah, things. which is faster if you need um yeah. Yeah, it's faster, yeah. It's it's more into uh same as um the structure of the pandas i think mm -hmm. but you could like db uh, you, you 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 write in google uh, db then plier with p add b after p mm -hmm. add p after b in the plier ah. Uh, ah, okay you, yeah yes l y r You will find it, but it's, it's not here, I think. I don't know why I cannot see. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. it's the same learning. Uh, oh, I cannot see. Okay, let me. Yeah, look at it now. So when we install Tidyverse, it comes with uh, all those player player stuff. Yeah, so you can see it here. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it comes with the DB player and it also has this function, correct? Yeah. Query here also and collect on all, all of them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so this one is constant. You need to provide. Okay. All right. So, so here they want to start talking about um, some stuff related to uh, SQL. So, here they just say they have a function that can copy to uh, copy. Uh, a flight data set. So they want to create a um, connection with uh, data set. So here you have TBL flight objects. Um, we have another um, object called uh, plane. So we have tables, two table planes and flight. And they want to show us an example with them. So normally, uh, okay. So they say top level component of SQL are called statement. So we have uh, top level 
uh, stuff for SQL, which are called common statement include, we have create for creating new tables, insert for adding data, select for retrieving data, um, and they say they will focus on um, statement also called query because they are most commonly used data. Okay, so they also call query. So um, what this is saying is that um, SQL has what is called statement, but also queries, and most of the widely used are create, insert, and select. So, um, but for any SQL statement, um, it must have two things, which is select and from. These two things are necessary for any SQL statement. I think that's what they said. So here, when we have flights, show query, right? Flights, show query. So here we can see, we just call flights and show query. Just show us everything this, so you can see select all from flight. So this is the minimum, you know, um, query that you can have in SQL just to select uh, to select a table um, to select uh, to show content from particular table so this is just showing content from particular so from this table called flight uh, select or everything um, and uh, here we can see plan show so this something yeah where and ordered by control which rows are included and hold their order so where and order by so for example here we have flight filtered by the destination arranged by this and show query so here we can see what we see previously select all uh, but no, where so, yes like uh, they are just like clauses let's say in the uh clauses in a, in a in a query sort of right yeah I um is it um abdul, abdul you are speaker is it your speaker that is doing or ahmad uh no i think i i don't have any background noise here uh okay maybe ahmad you are yeah, so what I'm saying, it's like uh, this uh, um, select from um, order by, I think that um, they are like sort of, it is saying that their uh, queries are made up of clauses. So these are the, the five most important clauses. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, sort of, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Just like in grammar, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think this is very useful because you can now uh, translate without even writing SQL. Uh, if you write uh, R and you want, it, want to uh, translate it to SQL, you could use this show query function. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Without writing any SQL, you could translate <laughs> R query. Yeah, code. exactly, exactly. So you, don't really have, you don't really have to know SQL, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but um, Abdul, you need to know the query, the SQL, so that when you make a mistake, you'll be able to fix it. <laughs> no, sure, 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 sure. You're right, you're right. <laughs> but again, you have chat GPT, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Believe me now. Now I just use chat GPT. I don't learn anything. I just go. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Huh? It's crazy now. Everything is crazy. Um, Yeah. I mean, chat GPT is getting even, oh my God, even the R and everything, we just go there. Okay, so yeah. So now we can see um, this stuff. So where and order. Um, so we can see here, we said um, uh, filter destination. Is, so filter is uh, equivalent to um, where and um, arrange is equivalent to order by. So we can see this. So you can see the way they arrange. We have select, we have from, we have where, where, order, right? Now, this is how they are arranged. Select from, where, order. They must come in this order. You cannot have, for example, where or from, come first, then select. So always select, come first, then from, then where, order, why. And um, I think the last one, group by maybe, right? Um, is that correct, Ahmad? And, but you can, some of them can be, not be there, but the arrangement, if all of them are there, they must be ordered in that way. Is that correct, Ahmad? Um, I think group by could be after where clause. Okay. And, uh, there is a having clause also. So it's just, it's just an order of execution. If you know the order of execution, um, it's very common. You could, uh, anyone can search it and know it. But yeah, uh, the, uh, the group by is after where clause. Mm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Um, so here, I think the select one, which is um, select, uh, to just talk about it more. So select clause is a workforce. 
workhorse of query and perform same job as select, mutate, rename, relocate, as you learn. So we can see the select. Um, here they made mention it the one of the important um you know query in SQL. And um, it performs all of these functions that we saw in Diplier, select, mutate, and rename. So let's look at an example. Here we can see we have plain select these guys, show query, right? So now what it translates is um select these guys, then from planes, right? So this is what we know, um, right? So what about this? Because yeah, it is something we didn't say because we want to select specific column, not select all. That is why the previous one, you can see we select star, meaning all. Uh, what about this one? Um, select plane, select this guy, and rename here to this, right? And show query. So here you can see the rename is, is they do did the renaming and you know selection are named. So you can see here select tells this year as year build. So this is how you do. We can see select allow us to select columns, but at the same time uh, using the select we you know rename. So year as this. Can you see year? As built this yeah. as I think it's is, called aliasing or something like yeah aliases aliases like alias. so this is called aliases so you can see here it's now as so we use aliases to say okay don't use this one alias use this as alias of this guy so you can see the select we now use it to rename so but we can also use you know um uh, 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 select to relocate so relocate in pipe in R. It just if this guy in second column, you can say it should come to third column. You can change it is column to relocate one co a column from here to there. So you can see here we have this guy select, and we say relocate manufacturer model before this. So this is telling you that we can see manufacturer and model here. They are what they are after type right? They are after type. We have tell them type from the database but we want us these guys manufacturer model to come before the you know type so that's why we can see here uh, uh this also select tell them model type yeah so you can see here we have uh just we you know put them in this order um you know manufacturer model then we put the type and year so um yeah so that's why um you know these guys they are in this way. And the reason why here, I think um, here we have type and year in court here is that um, they don't wanna, uh, the DB database, they have type and year, I think, as, um, uh, what do they say? As variable or something? It's reserved in SQL. Yeah, reserved keyword. Yes, yes, reserved keyword. So that's why they are using this to make sure that uh, nothing, you know, uh, conflict with the, uh, reserve keyword we have um yeah All right so um we have what's called subqueries as well uh so here they said it's not possible to translate the player pipeline into a single select so we can see here um we have a single select um to you know rename we have um a single select here to um relocate right and uh, yes, uh, but uh, what they said here is that it's not always possible to have a single select statement. I need to use a subquery. So for example, here we have flight. We can see mutate. We mutate um, two columns. Here we have year one. We create any column. We are one where we add the existing year plus one and we create a year two where we exist, right? And now we call show query. Now, here you can see we have two stuff, right? So here what they said, you can see from this table, select everything year plus 1.0 as year one so you can see that uh, here we use alias so here the existing year um plus this will be year one from plight right so and then uh select everything then year two uh year one the next one which is this one as year two so you can see this one so what they are saying here is um I'm not sure why um, you, we cannot use this one um, using the same, uh, within a single select. I'm not sure why, uh, but this is what they said, uh, maybe. I don't know, Ahmed or Abdul, if you have anything to say. I was thinking we can just put them like in a single line um, if we want to, for example. Or, 
here they see that it's not possible or is it because um this one uh this uh, the second one depend on this first one so it's not possible to go them in a single pipeline you need to um you know finish one then you need to do another one yeah i think i think because it's dependency uh a few a few of them are, uh, upon each other yeah uh, but i i i know i don't know if mutate doing that the dependency inside in, in, in the back end is it you see what? I, I don't know if it's, if uh, if the mutate function mutate function is uh having this dependency so you have to first define year one then define year two is this dependency exist in uh, in mutate? No, in mutate, in mutate, in mutate yeah. for in, in, in mutate here. Yeah. Uh, you see the second. No, argument. no. In mutate, you can use what you have here. You can create a new variable and put another variable because when it finished the second first line, uh, when it finished the first line, it um um you know you can use of this variable in the second line. Oh, so yeah, it, it, so the dependency exists. That's why uh, he translated that way, because yeah. you, you basically like uh, first you 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 construct the year one variable, and then pass it to another another query, which is year two uh, query select query. That's how he translated the SQL. So the, the dependency exists uh, exists in uh, mutate. And how this is how he translated to SQL. Yeah. So you got it. No, it's it's just he you it's it's, it's like a single uh, statement SQL statement, but before uh, you you just control the order when when you uh, how you could select from uh, from something you already selected from. Like if you uh, if you see the from uh, uh, there is a two uh, parentheses, right? In inside this parentheses, you select all, uh, and then year plus one as year year one, right? You see yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. So he he first do this, like this is the first query has been executed. Then yeah. after it's executed, it's selected select the from the resulted the resultant query because we using here parentheses uh, it's called subquery that's why he, he, the 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 title subquery so the subquery after it's after it's getting executed now we could select from it uh using the select the the first select statement which is uh all uh, select all year one which is the one that already been uh there after we selected uh, after we use the subquery, uh, and then add a one as year two. So yeah. it's just just the dependency and how it's ordered in sub uh, in SQL. Okay. So yeah. So, so, so here they talk about join. Uh, so this is another. Uh, I think. Um, things that we can use in join. So how join is used in, you know, uh, SQL. So here we have flight, lab join, planes, rename here, build here one by tell num. All right. So here we have um, uh, a, a database or to what's the table called flight. And we have another flight called planes and we want to do lab join. Um, but we want to rename year build to year because, um, you know, okay, we want to rename by year and now uh, join by this tell num, right? So let's look at it. So here we can see um, the from flights with this flight, left join with this plane, with join, left join with plane table on flight tell num, which is called plane tell num. So you can see. On this table flight, we have flight tell num. On this plane, we have plane tell num. If you remember, uh, Ahmad, um, Ahmad, when you did this lab join, this is how we do this. But the thing is, in 
um yeah so we use equal sign to make sure this is equal to this so this is how we use the left join and now we select everything that you know start flight dot this and everything so this is um everything we select so this is how the left join uh, joins in um sql is anyone want to ask something now pretty clear all right so um yeah so i think they have other verbs they said uh, maybe we can find them here in dg player such a distinct slide and other verbs okay so last one here um they talk about function translates so so far we are focused on a big picture of how the player the player verbs are translated to the close of a query. Now we are going to zoom in a little bit more to the relation of hard artwork with individual column. What happened when you use mean so on? So to help see what is going, we'll use a couple of help okay, that run some array omitted and show that. Okay. So here they have an example of a function. So we have function, we have summarized, we have show query in it, right? Now we have another function and then we have mutate and now you know we have show query. Now they want to call these functions to show us how uh, function are uh, translated in the you know um the sql code so just as in here it's just a function we create in r we just create two functions the first one um is, is doing summarizes summary and this one is muted so let's look at it flight we group the flight by year and month and day we summarize so we call summarize query so the summarize query you can see it can take um uh, given a data frame it can take some input right that's why we have dash dash so now here we can see um, um, uh, summarize query and we have mean, right? And we have median. So um, this is what is happening. Uh, yeah, so this are because these are summarized uh, functions. So we have mean and median. So yeah, so let's look at how it, it is translated into um, SQL. So here we have from flights, right um group by we group by year month day from fly group by month year this and now select uh because this is what we do the summarize it returns all this so we select um year right um monday but so, uh, the, okay i can explain it here so basically um summarize is an aggregation now we are preparing the query to aggregation and aggregations could be uh here we use the aggregation function mean and median right yeah now it translated to sql in average which is the mean and percentile count continuous percentile count this is uh median how we have to calculate median yes. yes so it's just the way um we translate the summarize function which is like collecting some kind of aggregation function together, but inside uh, SQL. That's how um, it's translated. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, so this is a median, which in a way called up, um, up. So what I'm saying here is, you know, um, we are selecting um, everything in our flight data set, um, but we are adding two more columns, right? Which are median and mean and median. So this flight, it uh, we are selecting, um, uh, we are selecting all other one. We are year, month, day. That is where we we said um by this guy year, month, day. Okay, and now we are uh, returning this to mean and medium. This is the median as mean. So there we said as mean. So it's returning this mean percentile, which is a median. So in SQL this is it. And now within this global and are return as median. So this is what it does. So similar to this. So this is just showing us how we um translate um the any functions into sql and uh finally uh and some of the references for uh so uh, abdul these are some of the books for sql if you want to go deeper so yeah so <laughs> i wish <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so these are some of the uh, references they give um if one wants to uh, so yeah, so I think um, if you finish working with your database, you need to disconnect. Um, so this is, you know, 
you a function that db disconnect you put the connection and shut down through so that means you close the existing connections to the database and you don't want to accept the data in it right so that's um you know um database um then we have the next week we have the arrow chapter all right so that's what we got so who signed up for arrow is it me i think i guess right <laughs> and i see and, you yeah okay and abdul you signed up for web scrapping yeah the best chapter was web scrapping oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i hope so i hope so <laughs> you know i have no idea i just i i just you know hear people talking about risk and i was like oh maybe if i have to present about it then i will learn how to do it okay. <laughs> yeah all right um so i think uh, that's good and uh,